am Molly Tuttle, and in this lesson I'm going to talk about switching between rhythm and lead. And I thought I would use my song Good Enough, which is off my EP Rise. And this song, I do a lot solo, and I sing, I sing this song and take leads in between the singing and also add in little fills and different things here and there while I'm singing. So I thought I'd just break it down and show you guys what I do on this song. So I'll play an intro, verse, chorus, and then a solo, and then talk about what I did. So I started off that by taking the melody of the verse. And when I'm playing by myself especially, or even with other people, I like to find ways to augment the melody with different chord tones. So I'm really working around these chord shapes um, that are in the song. And the song starts on six minor chord, or E minor shape here, A minor chord, I guess. Um, so I'm kind of walking into that chord. using this little dyad that has the notes of the E minor chord in it up here. So instead of just playing the notes of the melody, which would be I'm going to take that melody and try to add in other chord tones, slide into notes, walk up to notes, um, but really still keep pretty straight to the melody so you can hear how the song's going to sound when I'm starting it. So I started with this, and once I got to the melody note on that C chord, I had a little moment to fill in between that and the next melody. Going to the next melody line. See, I already put my G shape down. And what I'm really doing is just sliding between these different chord shapes. So I know my E minor chord I have those two chord shapes. I have my C chord. And when I get to the G, And you can use um, little runs here and there, slides, and the other thing I'm using is cross picking. So I'll play that intro for you again and see if you can pick out all those different things that I'm putting around the melody. When I get into the singing, I'm still kind of doing a lot of those same things, walking up to chords. Couldn't sleep last night. Walking up to that root of the C chord. 
or C shape, <laughs> and adding in some cross picking. Couldn't sleep last night. Too many demons floating round my head with the morning light. You warmth pushed away my dread. There comes a time to say that's good enough. So if you could hear there, I was walking up to the chords. Maybe I'll try a little segment of it just without the singing so you can hear everything I'm doing. I'm walking up to chords, playing cross-picking in between, and anytime I'm not singing, I'm thinking, can I add in a little fill here to um, be almost a response to the line that I'm singing. So I'll play the rhythm with no singing so you can hear how that sounds with all those fills and the cross-picking and all the little parts I add in to augment um, the vocals. And we're going to do a close-up on my right hand so you can see the different techniques I use for rhythm versus lead playing. And just to talk about that for a minute, um, when I'm playing rhythm, my hand is floating above the strings, and there's a lot more motion coming from the elbow. It's almost like I'm flicking my wrist. It's kind of a rotation and an up-and-down movement at the same time. And when I'm playing leads, I just gently flatten my wrist a little bit and rest rest part of my wrist on the guitar on the low strings or the bridge so when you play leads and rhythm if you use a similar right hand technique to me um, you want to get comfortable with switching between those two and yeah I'll play this rhythm part and we'll see what happens I don't even know exactly when I'm switching it feels pretty natural to me at this point but So what I noticed is when I was doing the cross picking and the little quicker runs, like that one with the eighth notes, pretty much any time I was playing eighth notes my wrist was coming down resting on the strings and when I was playing the simpler runs my hand was staying floating so if I was doing quarter notes it was floating still with the rhythm. Um, so yeah, just kind of creating a fluid motion where you can have space to change your change up your technique from rhythm to lead playing in a song is something to practice. <laughs> <laughs> 